right, so we're live. Um, as people start to sign in and um, get started, um, we're going to start the webinar promptly at 9.05. So, yeah, you can say hi to the host of this webinar or, like, keep people entertained. Um, as soon as people start coming in, we'll get started. So, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. Just, yeah. For everyone who is here early, just make sure to send your questions onto the live chat section because we will be gathering all of your questions throughout the whole webinar and we'll answer every single question at the end. So make sure to stay tuned for everything. Yeah. So send those questions even if you have any of them. you who are just coming in, we're going to get started promptly at 9.05. So go ahead, say hi in the group chat, and we'll see you soon. Hello, audio? Okay. everyone um if you haven't already tell your friends about this webinar <laughs> and they can come join in with us uh, we're gonna get started in a minute so yeah We're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you to everyone who has joined in so far. Um, so yeah, welcome to the DECON recognition webinar. Woohoo! Yay! Okay, so before we really, really get into it, we have Jack who will be previewing something for a special giveaway since he joined us on a Wednesday night. So Jack, take it away. Uh, hi, everyone. So um, throughout the webinar, we'll be We'll be giving out three codes. So three codes. Uh, so these codes will be saying throughout the webinar. Um, they are not. They will be. We will not tell. We will not tell you where when we'll say them. So make sure to pay attention. Um, if you at the end, we're gonna send out the attendance form, and for, from there you can put all three codes in. And if you do, you you there's gonna be a giveaway where you can win a Starbucks gift card. So if you're interested, make sure to pay attention to the three codes. Awesome. Thanks, Jack. Um, so next off, 
uh, we're going to go ahead and introduce the host of this webinar. So we have a very special guest. He's not part of the District Member Recognition Committee, but he does a lot for us, and he will be launching the online award submission system. It's a lovely tech editor, Joseph. Woohoo! Joseph, is there anything you'd like to say to our audience? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. <laughs> So next, we're going to go ahead um, and also introduce the committee. So next slide, please. Um, so yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Natalie. I'm the district member recognition chair. I just finished my last semester at Cal State Long Beach this past semester, and I'll be walking in May. But um, I'll be taking classes at Cypress College um, this coming semester in the meantime. So yeah. Um, next off, we have the lovely Manuel. Hi everybody, I'm Manuel. I'm currently serving as the executive, the administrative executive assistant for the member recognition committee. Um, and I'm currently a second year studying history at Orange Coast College. Awesome, and next up we have the lovely Paula. Um, and actually we have Twee next, but yeah. Hi guys, my name is Twee and I'm the Northern representative for Capital, Golden, and Sunset. Yay! And so I'm a liaison for those divisions, and I'm currently a third year in civil engineering at Sac State. And next up will be Esther. Okay, hi all. So my name is Esther. I'm currently a fourth year at UC San Diego. I'm the MRT MRS coordinator. And what I do on the committee is I'm basically just in charge of all of the Excel sheets. Yeah. Okay, next we have Terrence. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Terrence, and I'm currently a senior at Harvey Mudd College. I'm currently studying computer science, and I recently changed my concentration from e economics to Asian American studies. Um, and right now, I serve as your central liaison, so shout out to Foothill Desert Oasis and Central Coast. So I'm that weird guy that posts on your divisional pages every Monday. Um, sorry for being annoying, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. And next, um, we have um, our last liaison, Jack. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Jack. I'm currently a third year transfer at UC San Diego, studying management science with a minor in business. I'm currently serving as a Southern liaison for Magic Kingdom Metro and Paradise. So if you see my post of MR Monday and this really long post about reminders, that's from me. So yeah, shout out to those divisions. tonight. Um, next slide, please. Um, next, we will be going into a background on the awards. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I just want to provide some background on the awards, uh, some things you may not know. And uh, so the awards are judged by Kiwanians. And our committee, we just help facilitate it. But a lot of us have a lot of experience on the award. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send us a message or an email. And we'll have all our contact info at the very end. Next, all awards, except for the two scrapbook awards, traditional and non-traditional, will be submitted on our new online submission system. And we're going to talk more about that later in the webinar as well. Next, uh, our, both of our scrapbook awards will be submitted on site at the D at district convention on March 17th, Friday, by 6 p.m. So please be sure that your club plans to get there by that time uh, to submit it in person. We'll also be showcasing all of the scrapbooks that are Decon Spotlight, so don't forget to admire them at that time, too. So that would be really cool. Next, if you're concerned about the oratorical contest, uh, that will be submitted by email and will be elaborated later in this webinar. And the awards can be found at the link on the uh, slide right now, and we'll be sure to provide that at the end for you as well. And we also have a decon manual that our decon manual that uh, we have compiled with a ton of tips and tricks for you all, and it'll make the awards a lot easier. And next, Natalie will take it away. Thanks, 
So now Joseph will actually go into um, the online award submission system, which he's been working so hard on. So Joseph, please take it away. All right, cool. So um, we'll be releasing it soon. Presidents, be on the lookout for an invitation uh, from CNA Circle K in your email. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. Um, some quick things. Uh, you can upload as many files as you want. So uh, if you have to attach, like, uh, I don't know, minutes or other supplemental materials with your uh, actual application, uh, you can do that. You can delete any files you've uploaded. Uh, and then we'll just judge uh, your most recent file uploads. So anything you don't want to be judged, uh, make sure you check well before the deadline. Otherwise, after the deadline, you will not be able to um, edit anything. You can view it, but you can't edit anything. Cool. Uh, so I'll show you what it looks like uh, really quick. Uh, no. Okay. Cool. So uh, in your email, when we send everything out, uh, you're going to email a lot online award system invitation. Um, it'll look like this somewhat. Uh, you just click Accept Invitation. And it'll take you to this registration page. Just put in your name, password, and your school name. Um, make sure there's an invitation code filled in here. Without it, you will not be able to register. Uh, if, if for some reason this isn't working, um, like the link isn't working, uh, I provide the code like right here in the email. Um, and you can access the awards portal at awards.cnhcirclek.org. Um, cool. So after you've registered, you can see which awards are available. Um, this isn't all of them, but uh, when you log in, you'll see a lot more. Uh, so just choose whichever one you want. Um, and then you can choose as many files as you want. Um, I'm going to choose my resume because uh, that's all I have. Cool. Submit. Uh, just click this to expand it, and you can preview it here. Um, and you can also delete uh, whichever, whatever you don't want, and it'll be gone. Cool. Uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the chat, and we'll try to answer them by the end. Thanks, Joseph. So that's pretty awesome, guys. Joseph said it's as easy as uploading your homework, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so next we're going to go in with Esther, who will provide us with some reminders about MRP and MRS. Hi, all. So thank you so much for everybody who has been consistently submitting your master record sheet. Um, I really enjoyed giving all of you feedback, and I hope that the feedback is thorough and that it's been really helpful to you. Um, please know that the final feedback deadline is February 5th by 11.59 p.m. to Natalie via her email. Um, what this deadline is for is allowing me to give you feedback about your MRS as well as fixing any of the bugs and uh, sending you an updated file. Um, if you do not submit your MRS by this deadline, then feedback will not be guaranteed. Please know that the final, final deadline to submit your MRS um, to be considered for the Membership Recognition Program is March 2nd by 11.59 p.m. Some notes about this deadline, there will be no late submissions. Um, we will not accept anything. And also for your MRS for this deadline, it should have all of the events from March 1st of last year to February 28th of this year. Um, you can email all of the submissions to Natalie's email. And as always, if you have any questions, if you have any questions, you can email me at my email on the slide. Thanks, y'all. Um, and next, we will be talking about our cheesy moments for awards. But before we do, Jack, what do you have in store for them? Um, hi, hi, everyone. So uh, as I earlier mentioned about the codes, um, so I'll give you the first one. So the first code is strawberry covered chocolate. So make sure to write that down, strawberry covered chocolate. So, so the, make sure to write that down and then put the code in at the end of the webinar. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Jack. So um, now we're going to kind of 
share a cheesy moment in terms of why we applied. So our committee is really cheesy and cringy, um, but we hope to share these moments so that you can hopefully experience your own along this crazy journey that is awards. Um, so my cheesy moment was last year, um, you know, a lot of our club officers felt, didn't feel the need to apply for awards because you, we felt fulfilled by what we did and they didn't think we needed the award to um, know that. But I just felt like I didn't want to wonder what if. So um, our secretary, Rochelle, and I kind of took the initiative to complete as many, as many, as much of the awards as we could. Um, but by the end, you know, a lot of circle cares, we put the program procrastination, and it was just a lot. And I remember feeling so defeated because um, that job, I felt like I let the club down, and I remember rushing to turn things in for overnight shipping and just sitting in my car for like an hour. And then I realized, you know, okay, if we don't get these awards, it's okay, because we had a really great year, and I feel really fulfilled by what we did. Um, and I know that we did all that we could. And that is the biggest award is like being able to serve Long Beach Circle K and have such an amazing year. Um, I know it's so cheesy, but we hope that you feel the same way by the time you get through all of this. But yeah, um, next we're going to pass it on to Mel with his cheesy moment. All right. So um, as you guys know, if you were listening in from the beginning when we introduced ourselves, I'm actually only a second year. So um, and it's also my first year in club board. So um, in Circle K at least. And, like, my cheesy moment, like, will probably, like, a bigger one will probably come after this award season and after district convention. Um, but, um, like, last year at Decon 2016, um, being a club member that was really highly involved, I really loved just, like, knowing a lot of my board members and being able to watch them grow throughout the year and watch them, like, like have such a good time at district convention. And as many of you know, district convention is such a huge wave of emotions there's people crying left and right. There's people going up for awards, like what is even going on? But um, on district convention day one, um, I remember when my club secretary received his award, his, okay, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, wow, whatever, but like he received 100% MRFs. And I thought that was a really big deal because okay, MRFs are like tedious to do. There's so much you have to go through. Um, and club secretaries, I'm gonna give you a shout out because you have to fill out a lot. So like turning in that MRF every month, like at some point it almost becomes almost like a robotic motion, but at the same time, you still have to be able to nitpick everything and make sure everything's correct. Um, and when my club secretary last year received that, um, shout out to him, by the way. Um, <laughs> he, I was just so proud of him. Um, like it was actually one of the only times during the weekend I started tearing up, but other than that, but like, cause I've known him for a while, but yeah, that's my cheesy moment. Um, and then next up, I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to Paula. So, yeah. Do I go now? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So, hi, everyone. I remember applying for awards as the secretary for my club about two years, two years ago, and it's something that was very special for me. Although my board didn't get the awards we wanted, it was such it was so touching to see how everyone bonded through that pain and amazing to see the support our club so gave us despite the outcome. Um, it hurt each time one of our club members came up to us and told us that we never let them down. It hurt, but like, you know, a good kind of hurt. Um, yes, you can get uh, recognition and feel a great sense of achievement through applying for awards, but if you're worried about not getting the award, apply it anyway. You get a different sense of recognition from your club, and that in itself is amazing. It really can't hurt you to just try. Okay. And next up is... Hello. <laughs> okay, so, uh, hello again. <laughs> Um, because I'm the MRP MRS coordinator, I'm going to share my cheesy MRP moment. So um, last year, I served as the club secretary for UCSD, and as a board member, I felt like a strong sense of duty to like inspire like the newer members, especially. I really wanted to go for platinum, and that was like the goal that I had my eye on. And at the end of the year, I actually came really close, but not quite. And you know, a lot of people, when you don't hit your goal, you feel kind of disappointed. But for me, 
I didn't really feel disappointed because I knew that I gave everything I into like the year, um, into my position, into the club, and I did everything I could. And at the end, even though I didn't get platinum, I still was able to inspire a lot of members um, in this organization, which is great. And now I carry my little gold MRP star on my lanyard everywhere with me. So there's also that. Um, next, I will hand it off to Tui. Hi, guys. So uh, I, I go to Sacramento State, and uh, I've been, I'm a third year now, and I've been to two decons so far. And it's just so amazing being able to see um, during my first year. Um, of course, like, I think everybody's first year is, like, special to them. Like, there's always something about it. And my board that year, like, they were so amazing, and they went through a lot of hardships, but they applied for awards. And, then the, like, I'm not – you know, at the time I was only a general member, but I felt so emotional that, that they won things and that they got what they deserved because they were so hardworking. And then I was on board and actually a lot of us on this committee, there were secretaries because I was the secretary last year as well. And I applied for a distinguished secretary and it was really awesome, but it was it was kind of a surprise because um, at the time when they listed the awards, their, the schools were out of order so I was like they passed the S's I was like oh no but then um, I was able to get it and I mean it was really nice to be able to have that but even if I didn't I'd still feel so happy about my term because um, I felt like we did so well like I mean yeah we got a lot of awards but that's really not the point the point is that like all of our general members they felt like they had a good time district convention was a great time for them and I'm just really glad that uh, we were able to have that experience, but awards are still like, you know, the nice little perk. So I feel like uh, if you're able to apply for it, if you have a chance, you should definitely go for it. And next we'll go on to Terrence. All right. So um, I come from a small club. So um, for those of you who are from a small club, shout out to you guys. Y'all are the best. So um, my story is pretty similar to Natalie's. Um, it happened at last year's Decon. So um, my club is a, a pretty, as I said, it's a pretty small club. It's not very well known. Um, and to, in order to kind of like uh, raise awareness, raise reputation for my club, not only in the Circle K community, but in like our campus community too, um, I wanted to apply for some club specific awards for us. So I specifically applied for uh, distinguished club improvement. And I remember during awards night um, when uh, they were calling up um, our name and we had won, um, as I was going up to the stage to get the award, my LTG stopped me and in like the funniest way possible, um, she was like, hey buddy, you did it. And then, um, so this is like really irrelevant because the moment was supposed to be funny, but um, both of us just started like bawling so hard, like um, when when she said that, because I think both of us really understood like all the challenges that um, that our division and our club faced together throughout the year and how we overcame those challenges and um, that moment was just sort of like the climax moment for our, our club, and we just like. We just like bawled all our emotions and feelings out. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, but anyways, I feel like I feel like uh, getting an award, even though it's honestly really superficial, like it's just a piece of paper. Like who cares if you don't get one, anyways? Um, I feel like getting award, getting an award, really like um, is empowering. It, it empowered us a lot, and I think it opened up a lot of like new opportunities for us. And it took down like all these like mental barriers um, we were facing like oh um your club's too small i can't do enough it can't make much of an impact or your club doesn't do enough i think um awards really like um shattered those like um like bad stereotypes and really uh gave us like a lot of like motivation and power to like um, move on throughout the year so yeah and last but not least i will hand it off to jack wang um, hi, hi everyone. Um, like I mentioned before, I was a, I'm a third year transfer, so I actually transferred from Orange Coast College, and I served last year as the club secretary. Um, I remember um, after after like last year's OCC treasure, Circle K treasure, 
Chris Bone, who was like my best friend, didn't get the award. I was really like sad. And so like, I was really nervous about like, if I was gonna get it, cause I know I put a lot of work into my term. And then, so even before, like before they were gonna present it, I started like bawling my eyes out. And I don't know, everyone was like staring at me. Everyone's like, it's okay. But like, I knew like, I was super, super nervous. But then when I got it, I cried so much. And then I almost like, like totally forgot I got the award. So I just remember like being like getting the award, like how much how accomplished I felt and how much and how much like dedication I put into my term. I just really it really made me realize like you know if I can do this all over again, I could and like I don't know just like if I can relive it the moment I would. And oh, and now back to Natalie. Awesome. So thank you all to all of you for kind of enduring our cheesy moments. I know they were a little bit long, but we really hope that you feel these waves, this wave of emotions over the course of the process. Um, because I mean, we're put, we're bonded by suffering, but being able to finish the term strong together and achieve all that we can together is an amazing thing. So hopefully you're the, you'll be sharing these awards moments later after decon as well. All right, so next we're going to talk about the available awards with Terrence. All right, so um, so this is basically like the master list of all the available awards you could ever possibly win at DECON. Yay! So there's a bunch of um, awards um, that cater to really everyone. So whether you're a board member, whether you're a returning general member, or even a new member, um, there is stuff that applies to really everyone here. So I recommend you go through this list and see which one um, you're interested in and which ones you want to apply to. Um, a couple of things to note. Um, so the awards that say distinguished um, in the front of the title, uh, those are awards with unlimited recipients. So um, the way that that, that that works is that once you pass a threshold of points um, that will be determined by the judges based on um, usually it's based on your uh, club size. So once you pass that threshold of points on your awards application, they will grant you that award uh, regardless of how many other people um, or clubs won that award. So um, definitely apply to those because you have um, uh, a higher chance of winning those. Um, so for the ones that say outstanding um, in the front of the title, uh, those are actually uh, taken taken from the top three um, uh, point uh, of the top three points of whoever uh, applied for those awards. So whether that's the top three clubs or the top three individuals, um, they will be only taking uh, the top uh, three. And there's no like threshold uh, number of points that you can um, surpass. And um, so Natalie will be talking a little bit about all these highlighted bits right here. So I will hand that off to her. Thanks, Terrence. So the awards that are highlighted in yellow are the ones that are due on site. So remember that for scrapbooks, even though you're turning the scrapbook, you still need to attach an application with it. So the printed application and the scrapbooks are due on site at district convention by 6 p.m. and we'll have a station for that. Also for lieutenant governors, um, divisional spirit will also be due on site at that time. Um, for the red awards, these are awards that have um, special submissions. So uh, if you remember back around FTC season um, on October 1st, Outing Club website submissions were already received. So you don't have to worry about turning that in for district convention. And then for oratorical contests, it'll be emailed to which Terrence will be talking about later. Last but not least, the blue highlighted or the cyan uh, one growth is the Growth Enhances Membership Awards. So the GEM Award is an automatic entry that is based on um, international uh, membership numbers. So um, that is not something you'll have to worry about, but it is also something that will be awarded at district convention. All right. So um, next, Terrence will go ahead and talk about the oratorical contest. All right. So the prompt for the oratorical contest this year is people with great passion can make the impossible happen. What is your passion in life? Why is it important and how does it define your character? So big shout out to Donald Franks for proposing this prompt and everyone else who proposed the prompt and also everyone else for voting um, for this prompt. So for this prompt, you'll have a time limit of up to seven minutes. Um, no more than two of the seven minutes can be used for presenting quotations. And of course, you can use um, 
notes for your oratory. And these must these must be on five by seven index cards. And the rules don't really state whether um, the notes have to be handwritten or typed. So if you're like me and you're really lazy, you can just literally print out um, your your speech in like, I guess, five by seven rectangles and just paste that onto a couple of index cards. And that'll save you like a bunch of time. Um, also, if you're like me and you have really bad handwriting, then you probably want to like print out um, legible, uh, a legible copy of your speech. Um, you're also going to submit a PDF of your speech along with the application via email. So don't forget to do that. And um, in terms of what you must submit to the judges at DECON, um, this is um, a rule change from previous years. You must now bring a physical copy of your speech to DECON. So that can be in the form of your giving up your index cards after you use them to the judges, or you can bring up a typed copy of the speech on just regular paper. Um, I really recommend uh, bringing an extra physical copy um, for the judges just so um, they can reference it better and it looks better and they uh, don't have the risk of losing, like, let's say, one of your index cards. So remember to bring a physical, cop physical copy of your speech to Decon and probably multiple ones as well, just in case. Um, as for logistics, if you've never been to um, oratorical contests, if you've never participated, um, how that's going to work is there's going to be a specific time slot allocated to um, basically all the people who are uh, planning to participate. And all of you will be sitting in one room with the judges. And um, usually there are like um, other uh, outside audience members too. Um, and the judges will just uh, create uh, participant order and you'll wait for your turn and once you present your oratory um, you'll be free to to leave and enjoy the rest of decon and if you have any other questions about specifically oratorical contests um, feel free to ask any of the um, MR committee members but for now I'm gonna hand it over to Paula who will be talking about um, some advice and tips Hi everyone, so you can utilize the Decon Awards manual found at this tiny URL here. Um, you can also see all the past manuals and other sunburst issues made by the Communications and Marketing Committee. Um, just a fun fact for you guys, the theme was the off ghost head Pokemon for the cover and Stranger Things. Um, it contains a list of all the awards and their descriptions, including tips and deadlines. There are rules and info on converting awards to PDF and um, the, committee's, the committee's contact info. Um, so now Natalie's got some great stuff you guys will want to hear. Hey, awesome. So we do have um, some more tips and tricks. So the one that is on the slide now is to utilize sections to um, answer or explain any of your um, questions. So I know that for some of you, you weren't able to like attend fall training conference or international convention. And there is a section for you to explain like why you couldn't go. And oftentimes a lot of people leave it blank or just put NA. Um, definitely take the time to explain if you couldn't do something or if something came up, like whether it's financial reasons or the event was capped. Um, just because you didn't go to a big event doesn't mean you didn't give your all as an officer. And we want the judges to know that. So be sure to explain that because um, they know that life happens and that you can't always be at everything. Um, also, if you have a question, let's say like last year, I think there was a question that I came across that was about promoting the International Service Initiative. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I did this enough. Like, how can I explain it? Um, if you feel like you couldn't do something, explain what else you had going on. I think for a lot of your clubs, you have different circumstances and Circle K is such an extensive organization. It's really hard to educate everyone on everything. So if you had different focuses at the time or if you weren't able to get to it, uh, take the opportunity to explain what happened and why. Um, That'll also help you because if you leave things blank, you know, judges can't really have anything to go off of. So that's a really good pointer. Um, next, please, Joseph. So now we have more advice and tips. So one of the biggest 
um, tips that we could uh, give you is to pay attention to all the directions on the cover page of each award. So um, in the cover page, it tells you where it's going to be due. So whether it's going to be due online, what the deadline is, um, how many points it takes for the award, who can apply, all of those things are on the cover page. So don't forget to read through that. Also, um, you want to get your endorsement sheets signed early. So our DSIs serve to conserve and we don't want you to print or mail anything and that includes the endorsement sheets. However, remember that they do have to be signed by an advisor. So if you have to make an appointment to see your Kiwanis advisor or your faculty advisor to sign it, be sure to do so now. Um, once you get that signed, scanned, scan the endorsement sheet, and then upload it as a PDF to the online award submission system. Um, whether you apply for one award or 10, that endorsement sheet will cover it all. So be sure to get that done. Also, a lot of officer, award, officer awards um, and other uh, applications as well require letters of recommendation. Um, so you want to ask someone who can really vouch for everything that you've done, whether it be your lieutenant governor, a fellow officer, or an advisor. You want to make sure they're following the guidelines laid out in the awards application so they can really talk about everything that you did and how you've grown as a leader. Um, a lot of people are probably going to ask the same person. So um, if your lieutenant governor, if everyone's asking your lieutenant governor or everybody's asking you, you want to have ample time to write really good letters of rec. So be sure to ask now so that they have time to do it for you. Um, if any of you need examples of letters of rec, I actually keep mine at my cubicle. So um, any of us would be happy to share it with you. Um, so maybe, you know, whoever's writing you a letter of rec has an idea of what to write or how to structure it. Um, so just ask us if you need help with that. Next. Okay, so yes, we mentioned being college students, we put the pro procrastination and trust me, awards is not, they're not something you want to procrastinate on because you will feel really defeated and stay up all night and drink like monsters and coffee to like get it out of the way and we don't want that for you. So we really encourage you to set daily or weekly benchmarks of what you want to accomplish. So let's say um, if I were laying out my award schedule in February, the first week of February would be dedicated to data entry. So using the MRS and the MRF, to put in um, event information. And then the second week would be drafting any essay sections or working with other officers to do so. The third week would be like proofreading, um, getting everything together. And then the last week would be uploading test files to the online award submissions website and making sure that everything is formatted properly so that when someone downloads it, it looks fine. So these are little things that we hope that you can do. And also, um, Use, every, use your officers or like your friends as accountability partners. Encourage each other to apply for the awards and um, check over each other's work. Um, it doesn't have to be something that you do all on your own. It's a club effort too. So don't be afraid to ask for help because you got through the term um, so far together and you can finish strong together. So that's definitely something we recommend to you. All right, um, next slide please, Joseph. Oh, okay, so. Um, now, uh, for attaching the supplements, um, so some awards specify whether or not you need supplements. Make sure that anything you upload is a PDF file just um, for consistency. Uh, and again, just upload test copies and test it out. If anything, if you find that the online award submission system is not working for you or you want to be extra, extra safe, you can email me your um, application files so that I have them on hand as well. So if you want to be extra safe, feel free to email them to me. And last but not least, don't forget to bring that printed um, copy of your scrapbook applications with you when you turn your scrapbooks on site. So those are the advice and tips, that's the advice and tips that we have for you. Um, so hopefully they're helpful. And um, next, we're gonna go into um, the uh, tips from Esther. So Esther, once you're ready, Go ahead. Okay, so um, one of the things that we have for you in order to help you fill out your awards more efficiently is the awards filter. So in the past, the awards filter was always a separate Excel sheet, but this year we incorporated it into the master director sheet. So we're just going to be doing a quick demo as to how you can utilize the awards filter. Um, 
So first, what you're going to do is open your club's master record sheet. And usually when you open the club master record sheet, it's going to open on the events tab. But on this particular image, I have it open on the individual members tab. So if you're filling out a distinguished officer award, then there will be an attendance section. And usually the first section under that will be asking you for a list of all of the service fundraisers and socials that you attended. And um, order by date. So that can be kind of hard when you're going through all the events that you've been to. So that's why we have the filter. So when you click on the event uh, individual members tab, your file should look something similar to the one on the right like this. Joseph? Thank you. Okay. So let's say I only want the community service event. So the community service event should all be tagged CO. What I'm gonna do is, if you can see, there's a little triangle next to uh, the row right there that says like date, name of event, uh, chair, SLF, and then underneath all the tags, there's a little triangle. Those are the actual filters. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the CO um, triangle and it's gonna open up this box. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm select blanks. So when I unselect the blanks, what will happen is the filter will basically go through that column uh, of all of the events and it will only show up events that are tagged as CO, which is community service. So when I click on OK, um, this will be what will happen. Next slide, please. So when I click on, um, when I use the filter, what will happen is the list of events that show up will all be community service events. So these are all the, the events that show up as community service for the club and the ones you attended. Um, let's say I do not want the community service events. I want to go back to all of the events again. Then what I should do is do the same thing. I click on the little filter by CO and I reselect blank again. So now I will have all of the events. If you have any questions on this or you're not sure how to go about doing this, um, we will be having office hours in February where we can do a live demo for you or you can um, message any of the committee members and we can help you. So next we will be going to um, Jack with how to convert applications to PDF files. Hi everyone. So before we go over the PDF files, um, I want to say the second code, the code. So if you've been paying attention to what the liaisons post every Monday, the second code is Member Recognition Monday. So make sure to write that down and keep it in a safe place and write it down and type it when we have the form. So, so for, we're gonna talk, we're gonna go over how to convert the applications to PDF files. So as you know, this year we're gonna have the online submissions. So and so you are required to turn in your award in a PDF file. And so we're gonna go over first how to do it on a PC and how to do it on a Mac. So for PC, you can follow along on the diagram to the right. So what you're gonna do is open up the awards file and then you're gonna click on the file button and click on save as. And so you'll see the a pop-up window and for the file name, make sure to name it according to what the awards application says. So on every page of the, every cover page of the award has awards. So make sure that you name it accordingly then next, we're going to click on options and click on, make sure you want to, to mark the entire workbook, because if you don't, then it'll probably save the award as one sheet, and but then you want the whole word. So make sure before you save, click on entire workbook, on OK, and then finally save the entire workbook as a PDF. Next slide, please. OK. Um, Okay. Um, so for, for anyone who's using a Mac, Mac, make sure to open up the awards file on Excel and or like what or numbers, and then click on the file button on the top left of the page. So as you can see on the diagram on the right, and then click on Save As. And with the same thing as a PC, name the file according to what the app, awards application says. And you can find that on the cover page of the awards. And then where it says File Format, on, Click on the drop down menu and then you should click on the PDF, which is the very last option on the common formats. And then once you do, three options will show up and then you'll see that that workbook will be automatically marked 
but if it isn't, make sure to click on that. Otherwise, the same thing will happen. Like I mentioned before, that you're only going to probably save one sheet when you need the whole thing. And finally, you're going to click Save. And so that's it for the awards application to PDF files. And now here's Natalie with some announcements. Okay, awesome. So next slide, please, Joseph. Um, so questions, comments, concerns, but before that, we wanted to thank you for bearing with us and getting through all that information. We know it's a lot. This year, the committee um, really tried to do a lot of new and innovative things with the help and support of district board and you guys. So we really appreciate that you go out of your way to, you know, point out any mistakes that we make or like help us to do things better and that you're really patient with us and we really appreciate that. So if you ever have any questions or anything, I'm sure if you've e emailed or messaged us, we respond like ASAP Rocky. Um, but if we're not asleep or driving or something like that, we're always here to help. Um, also, um, just some other announcements. After the webinar, uh, Manuel will be posting an attendance um, form for you to fill out. We would encourage you to um, sign in by at least 11.30 p.m. so that we can cut it off and that Esther can fill out the SURF um, and send it, and I'll be sending it out tomorrow too. So if you missed anything, remember you can look back and watch. Um, but other than that, I'll still email you the link to this webinar, the SURF for this webinar, the slides for this webinar, and the attendance list. So everything will be there just in case you missed anything at all. Also, like Esther mentioned earlier, we're going to be having office hours all throughout February. So every Wednesday night at 9 p.m., you can drop in. Um, if you have questions, you can ask us. If you need someone to encourage you to be like, you can do it. You can do your award. We believe in you. We'll also be there. So um, you can drop by and say hi. But ultimately, um, we hope that whatever you get uh, whatever happens that this experience is worthwhile for you and that you feel fulfilled by what you do because a lot of you officers go out of your way um, and make sacrifices for the clubs you serve and we know that you don't always get the thank you that you like deserve but you know we've been there with you this time maybe like last year or two years ago and we really appreciate all the work that you do so we wanted to remind you that um, but yeah, so all awards are Kwanians judged. Remember that um, our committee is just here to help facilitate the process. So answer questions, make sure that your life is painless when it comes to uploading and sending awards and stuff like that. Um, but that's it. So other than that, I'm going to pass it on to Manuel to do a Q&A. So we'll be answering our um, questions that you have. Hi, everybody. So if you haven't sent your questions yet, make sure to send those in the, oh, sorry, Tyler Chan, sorry about that. Um, make sure to um, send your questions in the live chat of the YouTube um, live link, and we'll also answer them. But I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions that were sent beforehand and during the webinar as well. So the first question is from Jacob from San Marcos. Um, his question is, which awards give patches? So we'll have someone answer that right away. So yeah, so if you're wondering if any awards give patches, that would be the md &E Award, Kiwanis Family, Total Achievement, and the Scrapbook Award. <clears throat> and I hope that answers you guys' question. All right. So um, Jacob, if you have any um, follow-up questions, just feel free to send just send your question again in the live chat and we'll answer that again. Awesome. Next question was from James Tran from Golden West College. He asked, when applying for awards, should you fill out as many awards as you can or stick to a few? So anyone have anything to chime in on that? Personally, I can say something. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you can go first. Don't worry about it. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, so personally, I feel for awards. Um, if you have enough time management and you plan ahead of time, try to apply for as many as you can if you can manage it, especially um, if you have a board that you can help delegate the work with together. But if not, try to apply for the one that you feel is the most important or one that you can fill out the best. But that's how I feel about filling out awards. Yeah, I guess just to toggle off that. Um, I, like whatever you feel confident in, you can apply. Um, you don't want to wonder what if, so try to do as much as you can if you'd like. Um, 
for us last year, even if we felt like we weren't going to get it, we tried giving it our all and inputting what we could. Um, and we ended up getting things we didn't even expect. So it's give and take and you can use your best judgment, but whatever it is, um, just make sure that, you know, you're taking chances because you never know. Um, but if you want to really work on a lot of awards, make sure you do have some sort of support. I couldn't have done it on my own. I had our secretary, Rochelle, help me. So um, have at least an accountability partner or someone in your board that can help you out if you do choose to apply for a lot of awards. All right. All great answers from great questions. Also, um, if anyone else has any other questions, please send them now. And we'll go ahead and answer them. So I'll go ahead and wait for a few questions. Um, but also, if you don't have questions right now, you can also ask any committee member any questions at any time. We'll respond to you as soon as we can. Um, well, we'll probably respond to you like right away because we do anyway. But yeah, so make sure um, if you have anything, please just ask us and let us know um, if you have any questions on awards or just filling out awards overall. So yeah. Uh, for some frequently asked questions that we received, um, a lot of people ask, can md &E or KFAM apply for Distinguished Appointed Board? Um, and the answer is unfortunately no, um, because they have dedicated awards. It's something that we wanted to put in a proposal this past summer, but it didn't happen. So um, Distinguished md &E and KFAM do get their own awards. But in the event that, let's say, you have two md &E chairs, so you're like, can one apply for one and one apply for the other, you know what I mean? Um, you can put both of their names on the md and &E awards. So for example, um, for Cal State Fullerton, I put Tu Fam and Danny Nguyen. Um, and both of their names will be actually printed on the certificate. So it would be Distinguished md and &E, Tu and Danny. Uh, and then for, it's just like for Distinguished A Board where your name is printed on there too. So even though it's not, you can't apply for A Board, we still wanna give that name recognition in the actual award. So, so sorry for that. Um, and uh, another question that we had, uh, I think Eric Boo asked from UCI, he's, asked, um, do we put in the, for like event attendance, do we put in the membership um, from the end of the year or the membership um, number from the time of the event? And it says the time of the event. So make sure you're reading carefully for stuff like that. Um, and well, do you, uh, are there any other questions in the live chat you wanna pass on? Yeah, there's one more question that was sent from Tyler Tran. He asks, do officers fill out the general member type awards? Um, do you so like general member of the year. Oh, yeah. You and um, okay, so uh, for that one, usually um, a lot of clubs try to surprise the members that they nominate. So they officers fill out the award for that person. So they talk about like the nominee deserving this and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, usually officers do it as a surprise for that member. Um, members don't usually fill it out on their own, but they can if they choose to. Um, and remember that if you are going to nominate a general member or um, a returning member, um, we really encourage them to be at district convention so they can receive that honor if they do get the award too. Um, right. Uh, Manuel, uh, is there another question you want to feed us? I'm not seeing any other questions. Um, There's but, one more yeah. question for Casey. Oh, Casey just sent it. She said, can scrapbook chairs apply for the Distinguished Officer Award even though they have their own scrapbook awards? Yes. The answer is yes. All right. There you go. <laughs> um, another true. question from just from Bill Chung, not related to office hours, but at the same time somewhat related. Um, when can we expect to fill out, or when? Oh, wait, sorry. When can we expect to see your office hours? Question mark. So if you could please remind everybody when our office hours are. Um, so the office hours, the February office hours um, Google Hangout link, it will be every Wednesday at 9 p.m. 
Um, so we'll also post that reminder in our webinar event page. So uh, don't mute it out if we do post something there. Um, I'll also email it out, but during office hours, basically we'll be answering questions and um, just providing encouragement or if you want to do homework and awards at the same time, we can do that too. But yeah, they're every Wednesday at nine o'clock if that answers your question, Bill. Yes, no, hopefully. Okay, maybe. <laughs> um, All right, I'm not seeing any other questions on the live chat. So if anyone please. So if there are no more questions, comments, or concerns coming from the live, I guess we will be ending our webinar soon. Be uh, make sure to sign in on the link that we provided, not the one on the, the sheet, but the one we'll be, be putting on the Facebook event page that the one you're going to be signing in on. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Oh, do you know the Muffin Man? Um, I think so. Maybe? Okay, but before we give our closing announcements and close the webinar, um, we have one more code left. So if you have the two codes down, this is your last one. So, Jack. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So um, so in order to like get an entry in the giveaway, um, I'm going to give you the last code, and it's fill out your awards. Yes, fill out your awards fast, and don't procrastinate. So. Fill out your words. Awesome. Thanks, Jack. So if you're paying attention all throughout and you endured with us, then make sure to put those three code words into the attendance sheet um, if you do choose to enter into the giveaway for a Starbucks gift card. And hopefully we can get that to you at either of the DLSSPs. All right. OK, so um, now we're going to give um, last closing announcements. First off, we want to thank our very, very, very special guest and the creator of our online submission system, Mr. Joseph Lay. Woo! Our lovely tech Ooh. editor. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> um, so he is has been working really hard, and he'll be releasing more stuff um, within the next week so that you guys can get started with the submission system. It's been a long time coming, but he's been working really hard and trying to make it as easy for all of you as possible. Um, also, uh, if you haven't already, be sure to fill out the attendance sheet by 11 p.m. That is the cutoff because we will need, es the lovely Esther will be surfing it for you. Um, so filling out the event information for the surf and the attendance sheet. So please be sure to sign in by 11. Um, also, uh, we wanted to thank you guys. So, I mean, it's nine something on a Wednesday night and you're here with us and we really, really appreciate all that you've done for our committee and all that you do for your clubs and also just like taking the time to put up with our cheesiness because it's a lot and we understand that, but yeah. <laughs> Other than that, um, thanks again for joining. If you need anything else, feel free to call us, beep us if you want to reach us. Uh, yeah, we really believe in you and we know you can get through this season. <laughs> okay. Um, other than that, um, good night, guys. And we hope to see you at district convention. Service is not so spooky. Ooh. <laughs> good night, guys. Thank you for coming to the webinar. Okay. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.